Hey guys, it's Gary. So, uh, it's already like within the first week of October and I wanted to do a video and I came across um, a Halloween related book tag. I did one like two years ago, but uh, the in this one the questions are different. And I love Halloween. I don't often get to do anything for it though, but I mean I love costumes and I love Halloween candy and getting scared and and the fact that it's in the fall. I just love all that stuff. You'll see I'm wearing a, a fringy vest like they wore in the 60s because this was part of a costume once where I, when I went like a I was like a flower child. Um, I don't have a lot of accessories but I thought I would um, you know try to accessorize you know a little bit and this was actually my grandpa's vest so it's um, so yeah, I thought I, I'd wear it just to add a little bit of costumey sort of flair into the video. So, uh, yeah, so I'm going to do the Halloween book tag. It's, um, the questions are where there, um, there's like Halloween activities and things like that and like party, party activities and then there's a question associated with them. So I'm going to do that right now. So the first question is about carving pumpkins. What book would you carve up and light on fire? I'm saying Winger because the character Ryan Dean West was such a complainer and he was always a whiner and I was really getting tired of him so it's not... I mean the rest of the book was fine and when I mean the other characters were fine but it's really him that I would just light on fire just because he was always whining and complaining and putting himself down. I was just getting really annoyed with it. Just like fire, fire, the next one is trick or treat. And this question has two parts. It's which character is a trick and which character is a treat. So this, um, this character is my treat. It's Ronnie from the last song because I feel like I could see her as um, like a girlfriend of some sort. You know, we'd have we'd get along really well, and um, so I'd say yeah, she's she's like my treat. My trick character is Mr. Penumbra from Mr. Penumbra's Twenty Four Hour Bookstore. He's not. He's not like a villain, he's not a hero or a sidekick or anything like that, but he, he's a trick in the sense that he's very mysterious. Um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Enigma? He's enigmatic. And, um, yeah, he, he's rather strange and kind of eerie. So he just, he would be like a trick, you know, like, almost like a loose cannon or something like that, but... Yeah, a very interesting character. The next one is Candy Corn, which I hate Candy Corn, but it's which book is very sweet, and I don't think Candy Corn is sweet. Uh, but I said Seven Days and Seven Nights by Wendy Wax. Now this is the only book of a romance genre that I'm uh, willing to publicly say I like. Other books I keep private. But uh, I really like this. It's a really sweet book. It leaves you with like a warm fuzzy feeling at the end, like like what a romance book is supposed to do. But um, it's um, yeah, it's a nice book to kind of curl up with, you know, on a cold day and things like that. Just just to read. Uh, so the next one is ghosts. It's which character would you like to would you like to visit you as a ghost? So I said Daniel from Maine, because you know he. His character died. He technically died in a flashback, but he kind of they they the scene where he dies is still written. And you know, if he were, you know, because he's a ghost essentially, if he's dead, so I'd be a ghost and we can visit each other, and he'd be like the grandfather I wish I had, and um, and yeah, I would just or maybe even the father too, but because I just love his character and I, um. Yeah, I, I'm sure we, you know, we'd get along well if we were to visit each other as ghosts. The next one is dressing up in costume. Which character would you want to be for a day? And I'm saying Jay Gatsby. Because I, I actually went to a, 
This was like a week before Halloween and I went to a 20s themed party. And I wasn't really being Jay Gatsby or anything like that, or really anyone specific, just maybe, like, just a 20s gangster. I, th I think I even had a pinstripe suit, too. And I would just, oh, and I just, I love, like, the costumes of, or, or the fashion of the 20s era. And I would, um, and I would just love to be Jay Gatsby, be just a, someone of high class and ranking, and wearing like really cool suits and throwing the awesome most awesome parties and I would just love to I would I would just love to be Jay Gatsby. The next one is Wizards and Witches. What's your favorite Harry Potter moment? Honestly, I only saw the first three movies and I know I have to see the fourth. That's the Goblet of Fire, I think. And um I I know I, I know I liked it when I saw Hermione punch Draco Malfoy in the face, um, and it was, uh, yeah, I, I, I liked that, I liked that scene, so it was, I, I mean, maybe I can say that one, um, I only saw the first three, and I never read the books, so I don't have much for this one. The last one is Blood and Gore. What book was so creepy you had to take a break from it for a while? And I'm saying the I'm saying Haunted Texas. Um, you can't really see the book that well um, because these I've said this before and I featured this book before. It's true. They're true stories. They're true like scary stories that take place in Texas. So and I like reading them around Halloween, especially you know at least in October, and um, just ugh. God, I, I just think of, like, a time I'm reading them in bed at night, <laughs> and I'm like, I shouldn't have done that. I should just read these during the day, and, um, it's, yeah, they're, they're really, oh, jeez, well, that's, that's easy to fix, but, um, they're just really creepy and really scary, they're very chilling, and... Um, it's just really cool to read these around, you know, in October, just, just, just for a scary factor. So that was the Halloween book tag. I, um, I forgot to acknowledge that I saw the book Vagrant do it, and, uh, so when I saw her do it, I decided to do it, because I saw that the questions were different, so I'm putting her video down there in the description, and I also put the questions down there too, like the Halloween activities and then the questions. So if you want to do that, then great, uh, the, if you want to do that tag. So I uh, hope you like that. hope you subscribe. I'm going to try to have more Halloween videos um, or any, you know, more videos, you know, throughout October just to keep spreading my love for Halloween. So, and uh, I'm going to see you guys soon.